Hello and welcome, intrepid explorers of the past. Ever stumble upon your grandparents' old typewriter or rotary phone and think, how did this thing work? Well, imagine that, but 10 times more mysterious, and with no user manual. That's right, today we're diving deep into the mind-boggling realm of ancient tech, which still leaves our brightest brains scratching their heads. So give us six ancient technologies we still can't figure out. 1. Greek Fire the phrase Greek fire evokes images of ancient naval battles, flaming seas and the bewildered faces of enemy sailors as they watched their wooden ships transform into blazing infernos. This incendiary weapon was the top secret trump card of the Byzantine Empire, often equated to the nuclear weapon of its day due to the psychological and tactical advantages it provided. Debuted around the 7th century, Greek fire was primarily used in naval warfare. The Byzantines could deploy it using siphons, spewing the deadly substance over the waters and onto enemy vessels. The horror didn't stop there. Water, which usually spells safety from fire, was utterly useless against Greek fire. In fact, it's said that water might have even exacerbated the flames, turning naval retreat into chaos. The only known effective way to counteract it was by smothering the fire with sand or vinegar, but in the heat of battle, that was easier said than done. The ingredients and manufacturing process of Greek fire were closely guarded state secrets, to such an extent that even now, after extensive research and numerous hypotheses, we're still left with theories rather than concrete answers about its composition. Popularly believed components include petroleum, pitch, sulfur, and resin. Some speculate that petroleum was sourced from natural seeps in the region, which may have provided a unique quality to the mixture. The secrecy surrounding Greek fire was paramount. Emperor Romanus, in a decree, stated that anyone who attempted to share the knowledge of its production would face execution. This level of confidentiality, combined with the fact that no full ancient records of its formula survive today, is a testament to the Byzantines' dedication to maintaining their edge in warfare. Greek fire eventually faded from use, possibly due to the loss of the regions that supplied its ingredients or because the empire's enemies developed effective countermeasures. Despite its decline, its legend persists. Greek fire stands as a potent symbol of ingenuity, a reminder of a time when the mastery of chemistry could determine the fate of empires. 2. The Antikythera Mechanism Dive deep into the Mediterranean Sea, and you might just uncover secrets that challenge our understanding of ancient technology. That's precisely what happened in 1901 when sponge divers off the coast of the Greek island of Antikythera came across a shipwreck filled with statues, coins, and one perplexingly complex device. Enter the Antikythera Mechanism, the world's oldest known analog computer, a title it's held for over two millennia. Quite the resume for a piece of gear from ancient Greece, this intricate contraption, encased in a wooden box, and originally boasting more than 30 finely tuned gears, was used to predict astronomical events, like eclipses, and even track the dates of the ancient Olympic Games. Think of it as the iPad of its day, only instead of swiping on a screen, you'd be cranking gears. And sorry, no app store available. The craftsmanship and precision of the device are nothing short of breathtaking. Detailed inscriptions on its surfaces provide guidelines for its use, suggesting it was designed with care and deep understanding. Imagine a Greek scholar, eyebrows furrowed, carefully cranking the mechanism to plan his next Olympic vacation or check if Mercury is once again in retrograde. But here's the kicker, while we've made significant progress in understanding its functions, we're still not entirely sure who made it or for whom. Was it a tool for scholars, a lavish plaything for the elite, or perhaps an ancient prototype for a steampunk-style wristwatch? Okay, maybe not that last one. The complexity of the Antikythera mechanism implies that there might have been earlier prototypes, but none have been found. This has left some historians scratching their heads and wondering if we've underestimated the technological prowess of ancient civilizations. In a world where we're often dazzled by the latest tech gadgets, the Antikythera mechanism is a humbling reminder that the desire to innovate and understand the cosmos is deeply rooted in our past. The device also serves as a teaser trailer of sorts, giving us a tantalizing glimpse of ancient engineering genius while leaving us hungry for more answers. 3. Oxford Electric Bell In the annals of long-lasting batteries, the Oxford Electric Bell surely rings a few bells. Pardon the pun, but this contraption has been continuously ringing since the early 1840s. That's right! While we're over here charging our phones every night, this Victorian-era device has been steadily ticking away for nearly two centuries, making it one of the world's longest-running science experiments. The device on display at the Clarendon Laboratory at Oxford University consists of two brass bells, each positioned beneath a dry pile battery. Between these bells hangs a metal sphere acting as a pendulum, which moves back and forth, striking each bell in turn. The mechanism powering it? A pair of dry pile batteries. It's the Energizer Bunny of the 19th century, though it operates with a voltage so low that its tiny ting doesn't make an audible ring anymore. What's baffling about this bell isn't just its stamina, but the composition of its battery. The exact makeup remains a mystery. Attempts to dissect and understand its inner workings could disrupt its continuous operation. And as they say, if it ain't broke or has been continuously working for almost 180 years, don't fix it. 4. 
Damascus Steel. When you hear this term, you might envision a warrior from ancient tales, brandishing a sword that gleams with a mysterious, watery pattern. Or perhaps, for the culinary aficionados, it's the dream chef's knife with beautiful ripples gracing its blade. But beyond its captivating appearance, the story of Damascus Steel reads like an epic narrative filled with secrets, loss, and modern-day quests for rediscovery. Let's journey back in time. Originating in India and the Middle East around 300 BCE, Damascus steel became renowned for its distinctive patterns resembling flowing water or sometimes a swirling whirlwind of shadows and light. These weren't just decorative, they were a testament to the steel's unique crystalline structure. Not only were Damascus blades beautiful, but they also boasted qualities that were the envy of blacksmiths everywhere. They were incredibly sharp, resistant to shattering, and could be honed to a keen edge that would make any razor blade green with envy. However, here's where the plot thickens. Despite its fame, the exact method of producing true Damascus steel was lost around the 18th century. What? That's right, one of the most sought-after materials and we somehow misplaced the recipe. It's like losing your grandma's secret cookie recipe, but a thousand times worse. Theories abound about its composition and forging process. Some believe it involved specific ores with trace elements, while others contend it was the unique forging process, including repeated heating, cooling, and forging, that gave Damascus its signature properties. Yet, the true method remains as elusive as a mirage in the desert. Modern metallurgists and blacksmiths, armed with electron microscopes and a dash of old-fashioned stubbornness, have tried to unravel the mystery. Some have even produced blades close in quality and appearance to ancient Damascus steel, but the authentic original technique, still playing hard to get. 5. Roman Concrete The Romans They'd left us a legacy filled with grandiose amphitheaters, complex road systems, and a recipe for concrete. Yep, not only were they exceptional conquerors and administrators, but these folks had a knack for construction too. Enter Roman concrete, a substance so iconic and enduring that we 21st century folks can't quite figure it out. I mean, we can make self-parking cars, but this ancient concrete recipe has a stunt. Let's set the stage, it's ancient Rome. As the Romans expand their empire, they're building like there's no tomorrow. They need something durable, resilient, and seawater resistant for their marine constructions. Ordinary concrete, nah, that's child's play. Instead, the Romans whipped up a concoction known today as Roman concrete or opus caementitium. This isn't your average run-of-the-mill building material. We're talking about concrete that has stood for over two millennia. The Colosseum, the Pantheon's majestic dome, harbor structures, all proof of its resilience. So, what's the secret sauce? Roman concrete differs from the modern variety primarily because of a unique ingredient, volcanic ash. When mixed with lime and seawater, this ash forms a mineral called altobamarit, which gives the concrete increased strength and stability. But here's the head-scratcher. Despite knowing the ingredients, we can't recreate its legendary durability. Modern concrete, while impressive in its own right, can start showing wear and tear after just a few decades, especially when exposed to seawater. Roman concrete, on the other hand, laughs in the face of erosion. Some harbor structures have been submerged in the sea for centuries and have only become stronger. Talk about showing off! Scientists have been on the case, attempting to unlock the precise methods and proportions the Romans used. But as of now, the exact technique remains as elusive as trying to get a cat to fetch a ball. They might, but they probably won't. 6. Stradivari Violin Cue the dramatic music and spotlight. In the world of classical music, few names invoke the kind of reverence and awe and a hint of green envy that Stradivari does. Made by the Italian luthier Antonio Stradivari in the late 17th and early 18th centuries, these violins are legendary. It's like the Rolls-Royce of string instruments. If Rolls-Royces were created by a master craftsman with mysterious techniques handed potentially by extraterrestrials. Okay, probably not that last part, but who knows? Stradivari was no ordinary violin maker. He was the cream de la cream, the top dog, the you get the point. His instruments, especially the violins, are famed for their unparalleled sound quality. They possess a tonal brilliance that many describe as deep, rich, and resonant. Some musicians and audiences sway they can hear a difference when an artist plays a Stradivari, and honestly, with price tags often in the millions, you'd hope so. But here's where the plot thickens. Despite centuries of advances in technology, science, and luthery, no one has truly cracked the secret behind the magic of the Stradivari violin. Was it the wood? He used spruce for the top plate and maple for the back plate, materials commonly used in violin making. But rumors say it wasn't just any wood. It was from trees that grew during a mini ice age, which made them denser and more resonant. Then there's the varnish. Oh, the varnish! Some theories suggest it had unique minerals or even precious gem concoctions. Others think it might contain secret ingredients known only to Stradivari, perhaps unicorn tears or pixie dust. Kidding, or are we? And let's not forget the shape and thickness. Stradivari tinkered with these throughout his life, leading some to believe that his later instruments, with their broader shape, were his finest. 
In reality, the Stradivari riddle is probably a combination of factors. The wood, the varnish, the craftsmanship, the climate of the time, and maybe a sprinkle of Italian genius. Modern Luthiers just all quest after that elusive Stradivari magic, but it remains a beautiful mystery. There you have it. A well-worn journey through time, filled with unanswered questions and unparalleled marvels. It's funny how we can hold the entire internet in our palms, but some of history's puzzles remain unsolved in dusty corners.